Mr. Colton, leave. I'm late. He just stepped out. Oh. Well, I'll wait. Can I get you something? Oh, nothing, thanks. It's clear to see how fresh it is. I was just uh, taking a little walk. I hope you weren't waiting long. No, I just got here. I'm sorry I'm late. No, that's all right. No problem. Um, do you want to go sit down at the table? Okay. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Uh, can I get you some coffee? Uh, that'd be fine. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Mm -hmm. Look, you know, Alicia, let me. Like I said before, I was way off base about Scott Baldwin. I mean, when I found out that he was just comforting you about Frisco, I felt like a complete idiot, believe me. And it was none of my business. I just... but yeah, it was your business as a friend. That's why I was hurt, because... I thought like, you were my friend. I am your friend. Friendship is trust. I know. You know, I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't talk to your mother. She loves you very much. You talk to my mother? Yeah. Well, she's sure getting around. <laughs> so what did she say? Well, she was talking about you. She was talking about your past and how you've grown up and how you've changed. And she said that I was lucky that you had changed, otherwise things might have been different down on the docks. Yeah, she's probably right. I'm glad you've changed. You've been wonderful to a lot of people. And you've been wonderful to me. Until I... Until what? I realized that you were looking at me. Differently. How do you mean? Well, like you wanted me. I do. Colton, please don't. Look, Felicia, just because somebody wants something doesn't mean that he has the right to reach out and, and grab it. I, I think that I should go. No, let me finish, please. Okay. I... I haven't had a woman in my life for longer than you can imagine. And yes, I do, I do see you as a woman. How could I not? You're beautiful, and you're sweet, and you're kind. I think your kindness touched me more than anything else. And your loneliness. But have I ever made a move toward you? No. Have I ever treated you in any way other than as a friend? Well, yeah, that's why we're here. That's why we're supposed to have this meeting. All right. But that will never happen again. Trust me. I want you to trust me as a friend again. I know you love your husband. And I respect that. I will always respect that. Even if that should change... It I'll... won't change. Briscoe's my life. Your life belongs to you, Felicia. And I know this is difficult for you. And I want to be there to help you through it. As a friend, that's all I want, is just to be your friend. I'll try. I just wanted you as a friend, and that's what I thought you were. It's going to be difficult. You understand that, don't you? Yes, I do. Just give me a chance. Well, I'll think about it. I'm glad that we talked. So am I. You're sounding an awful lot better. Yeah, I am. Daddy's visit really perked me up. Good. Now, you tell Erin that I'll be home for dinner, and so will Digby. Great. 
Well, I'll see you then. Bye, Bobby. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anything happened while I was gone? Well, Robin does sound a little better. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. How was the meeting? I don't know yet. Oh, I mm -hmm. just don't know. Well, if you ever want to talk to anybody about it, you know where I am. Thank you. <laughs> Vandal Investigations. Yes, this is Felicia Jones. We close at six o'clock. Who's this? Hello? That's strange. I just got a phone call like what you got earlier. Really? Yeah, they asked what time we closed. I told them, and then they hung up. Well, maybe it was a prospective customer. Maybe. But then they asked for me. Main Donnelly Investigations. May I ask who's calling? Oh, hold on. It's Fran Woods. Oh, hi. Hi there, Fran. Yeah. Well, you know I'm not going to be working on your case anymore. Uh, I'm... I'll be here at the office, yes. Okay. All right, I'll wait here for you then. Yeah. Bye-bye.